Okay, I think we're going. Well, this is my fourth Facebook Live, and today I was uh, compelled to be able to, well, just say it's my 56th birthday today, as you can say. And your birthday, of course, is uh, sort of, as they say, a celebrational day. And what's that day? That's a day that uh, supposedly if you celebrate, maybe you made it that far, but maybe you're going to look towards the next year for a better year, celebrate the next year. Well, guess what, guys? When you get a certain age, you know what happens? It's not your birthday anymore. It's your breath day. And you know what? If you haven't figured this out yet, it's really beautiful for you to do, is figure out how many breaths that you've lived so far. Have you thought about that? Come here, baby. Come on. Have you thought about that? Mm. <laughs> this is my baby. Mm. How many breaths <clears throat> do you think I am? 56 years old. Remember breathing. I've been in the womb eight months before that, so I'm actually older than 56. I'm almost 57, biologically. And so is Hody. He's exactly the same age as me. He's been in the family for 40 years. But have you ever figured out, besides your, remember, birthday. Birthday, everybody knows. Okay, that's fine. You look forward to the future. But what about your breath day? I have 530 million breaths that I've taken so far. And when you really think about yourself right now as instead of a birthday, but the breath day. And reflection is the breath day versus birthday is the forward celebration, <laughs> at least for me. So, so anyways, this year I've been in spiritual ceremony. Okay, we have a special group up at the retreat here. Go up there, baby. <clears throat> and I've had so much fun with everybody. I've really just wanted to be able to go ahead and say, guys, you know what? My relationship that I have with my so-called YouTube family, my social media family, my spiritual family is a beautiful family. I just want you to know. Our biological families, of course, we love them. Sometimes we don't understand them. But my spiritual family, or my called my multiverse family, they really start to go ahead and actually maybe see what we're trying to say. So I just wanted to give you this idea, reflections. Hmm. That means breath day. And how do you figure that out? Remember, how many breaths do you do a day? These are all my epiphanies. I'm in the seventh layer right now, which is a different layer of my consciousness, not to judge on anybody else's. Okay, there's the five sense reality, the sixth sense, when all senses become one, sixth sense, you start getting critical thinking. And the seventh sense reality is starting to see the architectural game in many things. Okay, what a beautiful thing to be able to well, have super critical thinking because that's the seventh layer, okay? So, well, just to be able to get back, remember, how many breaths a day do you do? Remember, and what do you do with those breaths throughout the day? That's the best question to ask. What do you do with the breaths you're doing? Okay, 25,920 breaths a day. Wow, this machine. And just so you know, I'm speaking with my clothes off because I've never done that before and I wanted to only speak from my heart the truth. And we all know if a politician or anybody, anybody goes in and takes their clothes off, you know what happens? You can't lie. All you can do is speak from your heart because everybody's watching you. And if I let you see me right now, well, guess what? Eh, Facebook probably wouldn't like that too much. Okay. So first time I've ever done this before is because I'm in, in the truth reality. And a lot of things I have to say may not jive with your preceptions, okay? But then again, they're sort of my truths at this time. And I'd like to share, of course, more truths this year. But remember, 25,920 breaths, you breathe 18 breaths a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day, 18 times 24 times 60, 25,920. And if you multiply that by your years old, then you get how many breaths that you've actually, well, breathed so far. Are you breathing clean air? <laughs> Are you doing things with your life that actually make sense? Come on. <laughs> That's the big picture when you get older. Remember, I'm an old guy right now. Okay? And I can tell you this. I just want you to know. 
we all search for one thing it's called cessation and that's to feel really 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 good and you can't buy it no one's gonna give it to you okay and all I can do is tell you guys at my lair okay and anybody's lair that feels something that you want to feel you can either induce it with drugs you can induce it with buying someone a gift but there's nothing special than to get it so your pharmacological warehouse inside your body produces it by itself and how do you get that you start to share it really really helped me guys I just want to say hugs for anybody hugs for everybody okay why It's because you guys have grown me so much maybe I do help you grow if you want to see what I want to show you and I look at my videos in the past and I laugh at myself wow okay as we all should that just means you've grown immensely okay so if you grow immensely well you look back at yourself and you sort of laugh at yourself and that's good some people say well don't you take those videos up now I get to look at myself when I was more of a moron than I am now okay remember I'm just trying to share Remember, and it's a beautiful thing right now to be able to talk to you guys without my clothes on. And I'm in my garden, okay? And I just want you to say, look, this is what I've done with the last year's breath, and this is what I've been contemplating on. I've been contemplating on what I have been doing the last year's worth of breathing. And have I, well, advanced myself and others while I've been breathing? Is because if not, well, we have to look and see that we're just sort of like a parasite. Look at this broccoli. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I ate that one last night. Okay. And I'm going to eat the leaves right here. Look at these broccoli. Remember, I grew these myself. Romaine. Chinese lettuce. Okay. This is bok choy right here. Okay. And bok choy, of course, flowers. And you let the flowers go. You just take the leaves off, whatever you want to eat. And then what you do is you let it flower so you could go ahead and get the next group of children that actually are called clones. This is all arugula right here. Okay, and this is just planted from two packs of arugula right here. And you can see I got more food in my garden. And if you don't make a garden, guys, I'm just telling you. Okay, this is one of the best purposes. Okay, look at this. This is red lettuce. And I've been eating off these for months. And I just pick off. You can see the, the leaves on the bottom. And this one here, I'm letting it flower. You can see, look at the ball, the butterflies blessing our garden here. And this is going to flower and it's going to make seeds. And of course, it'll make more butter lettuce. So this is one of the things that I look back and reflect. And I say, you know what? What have I done this year? I don't know. I think I've done good. Okay? Remember, I don't, I don't drink any blood and eat any dead flesh. What does that mean? Well, I'm not adding to the destruction here. I don't need to. There's no reason to. Remember, I got my own garden. I found out all of a sudden, whoa, I woke up. I don't have to drink blood. And this is weird, guys. I know. Remember, this is an awakening. Okay, no matter what you've been told, okay, and said it was okay. Remember, is it critical thinking in your mind to be able to drink blood? Okay, just remember that. And chew on dead flesh. Any type. Anything with a face. Does it make sense? You know why? Because you don't need to. You have no choice but to follow the rules if you choose, well, a system or culture. Remember, if you use your critical thinking, you find out, what do you find out? Well, it's a beautiful thing. Make a garden. Look at the tobacco I'm growing here. And, of course, I just made a beautiful video on how to make a super organic garden. Look at the tobacco leaves, okay? These are tobacco flowers right here. And tobacco is an entheogen, okay? And this also activates the mind. And tobacco is good for the brain. Yes, it is. And it's pure form. <laughs> Not the stuff you see that's commercially sold with 7,000 burn accelerators, chemicals, and additives. Okay, why do you use good tobacco? Because it resets the brain. Okay? So I've been on spiritual ceremony this whole weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And Friday I had a deep shamanic ceremony, which I'll go into on Earth through Academy. And I feel in time, when you clean the body enough to be able to reset the temples and the body's your church, it's time to be able to go ahead and let go of all the knots, clean the hard drives, okay? Keep what you need without the emotions. Wow. So I'm very clean right now. Okay, I've got cleansed yesterday. All day long, we were in shamanic ceremonies with the group here. 
Okay, we cleansed our body with sage. We did a spiritual dance, which means let go. No one's watching you, and if they are, it doesn't matter because everybody else is acting stupid. And so, what a beautiful thing. Okay, we went ahead and painted, and I painted another beautiful picture of what what makes me feel beautiful. Okay, so I put that in the pictures we'll show you. And it took me about five hours to do it. Of course, it's art therapy. Therapy. <laughs> what do you need? You need to buy something? How about just be kid, kid again? And one of the other, you know, beautiful pieces was to be able to go ahead and actually go through the Hawaiian song of forgiveness. And Arroyo here, she's a, she's a shamaness. No one's doing drugs or anything, guys, so get that out of your head, okay? Remember, these people have been fasting here. They're on their 8th, ninth, 10th day fasting. This is a group of people, a group that comes up, a group of friends, and they come up to dry out. They dry out what? Demonic presence. Remember, why do you want to go ahead and dry out? Is because you know that what's in you is not right. Okay? So... Anyways, we all held hands and we sang the song over and over again. The women did first. Okay? And remember, I've never, I just want you to know, I have never, and you can go ahead and actually ask the people here, Dr. Kassar, Robert Kassar, Dr. Bazaar cried in front of everybody. I connected to everybody. It was a graduation to be able to feel, okay, that I usually don't feel too much. So, I'm sorry sometimes if I come off straightforward, but then again, all I want to do is share, guys. We all have something to share, especially if it has to do with evolution. That's the big picture. And I cried myself, tears, snot, and spit, and everything just rolling out. Not for a minute, okay? And every time she mentioned certain things, I had certain things in my head from my children to whatever on certain things that I did. Okay, and I forget the words already only because they were so pronounced. Okay, we love you, I forgive you, thank you. Okay, and there was one other part, but maybe we'll put it in, we'll, we'll add it to the videos later. And this is a Hawaiian song, and I couldn't say the words in the beginning. Okay, why? Because it's not in me. Okay, these things are, are pushed out of men. Okay, they're pushed out of us not to feel. It's because that's why we become men. No, you become men because you start to feel. That's when you become a man. Okay, when you stop killing, that's when you become a man. When you start to respect not only yourself but everything and everything that has to do with life, that's when you become a man. And the same goes for a woman. Okay, so. Anyways, I cried and cried and cried, especially when she mentioned the suffering of the children. There's lots of weird stuff. In 2017, remember, this is the year of critical thinking for us. Not anybody's going to tell, tell you anything. It's we, the revisionists, the ones that are actually checking on a lot of the stories that we've been told from every faction that you could believe, from religion to politics to money, okay, to the shape of the round spinning ball that... Well, you think you live on. Okay, to all these different pieces. I know it sounds a little weird, remember? The age of the revealing. It's not going to be hard. Remember, Jack Nicholson tells you. <laughs> he says, what? Okay. Just like Neo. Okay, in the Matrix. That's right, I don't believe it. Okay, you can't handle the truth. Well, guys... The game, is, the game is unfolding. If we, as a group, want to unfold it together, remember, there's thousands of YouTubes out there to be able to go ahead and share stories of people's, well, stories, not only of what they start to see, only because if you start to wake up, that only means that you're taking care of your body. In order to be able to actually open up the mind, you have to clean up the church, okay? And the body needs to be cleansed. Yes, it does, okay? And that's the terrain modification protocols, practices and principles. Guys, I don't know what to do. But to keep on sharing and maybe getting better at sharing so maybe other people besides just me will go ahead and see these protocols as real. Okay? 
Why? It's because to learn to be your own doctor is the power of actually living in a world that wants to trick you, <laughs> deceive you, it wants to sell you something. Okay? You do need tools as a carpenter, but what type of tools do you want? You want real tools or you want tools that you don't even need? And once you use those tools you don't need, then guess what? You get put off track. And guess what happens? Now you're distracted. Now you're off course. Okay? So, remember, my birthday now is my breath day. And I look back, and I, like I said, we have done probably over 300 videos this year. We have so much to share on Earther Academy that's too sensitive. I've already got very much threatened to be able to to be very sensitive on talking about parasites and a lot of the different things we talk about because they're going to shut down your channel or tunnel or, or yeah, channel what are they going to do? Why? It's because the information is sensitive. Remember to show somebody how to drink water is not cool. Okay, So Earther Academy is the more advanced protocols, practices and principles okay, of terrain modification which is specializing mostly in detoxification and rejuvenation. <laughs> What's wrong with that? And you may have to ask your doctor if you can not only get healthy, but become your own doctor. Okay, we also have, again, and I say thank you so much, family, okay, for letting us do our, our online wholesale, look at this piece of arugula. Organic superfoods, very hard to find products in the right packaging at a super discount all the time. In fact, there's a huge sale going on right now at earthshiftproducts.com. You do need minerals. Don't get watered one downs. Most of the minerals you get are 50% watered down. Get the pure form. Fulvic acid, get the pure forms. Okay? That's a low pH. Why do you use it and how do you use it? How do you get the wrinkles off your face? How do you, how do you get a, a six pack? Okay? Remember, I'm an old guy. <laughs> okay? I'm not showing off. I'm just showing you. The protocols work. Okay? So, again, arrogance is, is, is actually showing off and not showing you how to get it. But, you know, my energy wants to show you that it can be done. And we're starting YouTube channels right now. We have many started already. It's a network we're starting. Okay? Rethinking reality. And my new channel is not with Dr. Kassar. No, you know who I am. I have to be a person, a character there. Okay. Not Robert Hugh Kassar, which is my family name. So when I talk to my family, I have to switch channels and talk to them. If not, I get in trouble. But this is another channel for me to be able to remember, to talk to you about, about rethinking reality. And so it's the Rethinking Reality with Dr. Bazaar. <laughs> Do your name, Rethinking Reality. Trevor's doing one here. Dr. Bryce is doing one. Rethinking Reality with Dr. Jessica. And what you do is you're rethinking reality and you know since you have there's certain things that help you rethink reality and why would you want to rethink it it's because just like in the matrix you know there's a splinter in your mind something's not right something's not right okay and part of member the the mind it needs to be guided the body needs to be guided and there are other people that are just ahead of you and playing this game okay Remember, health, wealth, happiness, and evolution is a game. And what are the virtues? And I'm not bragging on you guys. It's just basic. Look, when you serve the collective, you get different virtues. It's because you're working with the collective, not personal, not helping yourself or helping just close friends or fr uh, you know family. The collective is for YouTube. It's for you to throw out there basically what you feel that helped you change your ways. As long as we know we're going up the mountain, there's a million ways to go. But once you get up halfway, I can tell you, you don't want to drink blood anymore. Why do you need to? Okay. Well, what you need to do is basically go through the protocols and, and dislodge the six demonic species. Excuse me, the six categories of parasites. And two of them are demonic. That means they're blood sucking. Of course. You don't think they're in you? I guarantee you. Remember, Part of our sanity is to remove all of what you could call Satan's creatures, which are parasites. And if anybody thinks you need them, guys, then you keep them. Remember, a parasite definition means you don't need it. It's real simple. You don't need it. And if you think you need it, it's only because it's not a parasite. It becomes called a symbiote. A symbiote is when you start to eat food or eat sugar, okay? And then all of a sudden they help you process the foods that you're eating. 
So they're a symbiote, but if they colonize and get bigger and bigger and bigger, not only do you gain body fat, remember that's category one, okay? Not only if you get an extended belly, okay? These are all different categories, and I live in different places and eat different foods. But once they colonize, and once they get to a certain layer, then they poop in the body and they cause you dysfunction and confusion. And this is where all of a sudden you start to feel insane, is because, well, that's what happens when something's pooping inside you. This is what happens when you get a hole in your intestinal tract, and, and what happens? You get leaky gut syndrome, okay? And leaky gut syndrome means that something inside, okay, your intestinal tract that was not supposed to leave, got a chance to bore through a breach that was in your intestinal tract, and they say 50% of the people past 40 years old have some form of leaky gut syndrome. Okay, so remember, these things get in our system and they crawl in different places, and we call them tumors, and maybe they're just a ball of parasites. Maybe cancer is just a parasite. Wow. Could it be? Remember, aliens? Yeah. Aliens, of course, the definition is to make sure that uh, they're not part of the body. No, they're not. Okay, aliens, they're not part of you, okay? Like United States, if somebody crosses the border and they don't have the right papers, well, they're not part of them. They call them aliens, okay? So, anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys, I love everybody. This has been such a beautiful journey so far. And your testimonials, guys, really feed me well. I love to hear people that have changed their lives, okay, because they started to get critical thinking and they just changed a few things. You don't even have to change your diet to go ahead and clean up your skin so you can start absorbing the sun. Remember, D3 is your friend. If you burn, it's because, remember, you have something on your skin that's burning. The UV burns it. Everybody has skin fungus, guys, okay? Follow the protocols and see how it works for you. I'm not saying any of these things are going to completely cure you because that's illegal to say, but all I can tell you is they cured mine. I can't tell you about other cures, but I can tell you spontaneous, not regeneration. It's called doing the work. So you need to learn about entheogens also, and those are the plant medicines, because they are valid. Yes, they are. If you use them incorrectly, of course, then they're uh, drugs. Okay, just like foods. If you use them incorrectly, like sugar, they're drugs. And how do you know that you've been using sugar incorrectly? How do you know? All you got to do is take your clothes off and give yourself a visual examination. And notice that, remember, your skin is paper thin. Okay, you should be able to see through it. Okay, it's the way it is. Men and women, okay, a little harder for women to be able to be transparent. But you know what? You want at least to be 95% yourself. And if you've got 50 pounds of body fat, that's a glucose monster. And that's the reason it's there. It's because you keep feeding it and feeding it, and it's a demonic presence. It's not going to kill you. Okay? At least not, that's not going to kill you. It's going to make you feel real sick and tired and feel like, I've lost 40 pounds of creatures inside me, so do I feel light? I'm 135 pounds. I feel like a child. Okay? And you do go through a dry out, so sometimes you'll be drawn out, sometimes it's what it is. Remember, you're rebuilding yourself, you're pur purifying yourself, you're purging yourself. Okay? And that's the age we're in right now. We're in purgatory. So let's follow the rules. Let's purge. Let's purify. Okay? And rebuild, and we need our child, uh, each other. Ah, we need each other to help. Okay, with what works for you to tell someone else. Remember, don't believe me. Okay, millions of people already have transformed themselves in a way, and remember, as you transform yourself, you don't get sick anymore. And in fact, remember, you feel happy. Why? It's because your body's healthy. And if you're not happy and you're taking any type of pharmaceutical, I don't care what it is, you're sick. If you have body fat, you're sick. Remember, you got an extended belly, you're sick. Can't sleep at night, you're sick. Okay? Argue with people and you love it because you got to win. Remember, there's something inside, just like, well, chapter 4 and 5 in Eckhart Tolle's book. Okay? The new earth, the pain body, it's real. And there's also a parasite body. And the parasite body is real, guys. Okay, so once you relieve yourself of all this stuff, and it's not cool to talk about it, it's not. So that's why we talk about it at Earther Academy. But you do need to go on a liquid diet. You do need to go ahead and whittle your density down because the things, look, the things that live in my garden, okay, break down density. Worms only break down density. So my garden, if it's healthy, if it's constantly decomposing, I have the critters inside my garden to be able to go ahead and break down 
the old food. And they poop inside the garden, and of course, earthworm turds, castings, you buy them at the store, and they make your garden beautiful. In fact, I got chicken poop all over the place here, okay? Why? It's because they love it. So, again, remember, what did you do? And it's, and it's just a question, that's all. There's no judgment, guys. Remember, and as you get older, you find out it's not a birthday anymore. It's a breath day. And then you reflect back and look and see how much trauma they, did you cause people. And you might have caused them some trauma. Why? Because you're trying to help them. Because remember, <laughs> sometimes when you're trying to help somebody, including your family, okay, that's more trauma sometimes than it's worth on both parties, not just one. Okay, you see people drinking sodas and smoking chemical cigarettes and putting cell phones up to their head and taking showers with fluoride and, well, not shutting their wi fry off at night and just, well, eating GMOs and I don't know. <laughs> the list goes on. Don't you like to tell people about them? And if you don't, really, well, remember, you're just trying to help. Just trying to help. Is it true or not? You think fluoride's good for you? Do the research. Don't believe anybody. You think uh, pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, fungicides, vaccines, or all these things are good for you? Remember, it's critical thinking. Do your research. And, of course, how you do your research is other people have done a lot of the research already, so they're helping us with critical thinking, and that's the sixth sense, remember? The five sense believes. It believes in authority. It believes in stories. It believes in everything. Why? It's because the authority told you. It's called indoctrinated thinking. The sixth sense, which there's not too many people that have it, and you got to have a pretty clean body. You got to play music, you got to habla español or otras palabras, and you have to speak other languages to activate parts of your brain that make it complex to get critical thinking. Critical thinking is activating both brains. Okay? And when you have a five sense reality, it just means you only have half the brain activated or one hemisphere activated. And we all know this is true. It's just sort of hard to call yourself. A half a brain activated individual, or what some people call retards. And I used to be one. Why? It's because I believed in a lot of stuff. Okay? And you have to take it uh, on a little bit at a time. And if you're really wanting to go ahead and wake up, okay, remember from the dream, then other people that have already gone to the first layer, they're confused as heck. Don't think I know anything. <laughs> the more I know, the less I know. But just know that, remember, there are other people, okay, that are helping us, videos for free, help us with what they see. Remember, don't shoot the messenger. Remember, we're just trying to help, guys. Okay? I know. You know, everybody wants to sometimes pick. And don't worry about what people say, guys. If you feel from your heart what you're trying to tell people is the truth, then so, you know, so be it. Remember, you will feel a cessation. Okay? And what's that? The cessation of love when you, when you transmit on the ether. The ether. That means worldwide. No one has to see it. doesn't matter how many views you get, but it's out there for people to see it. So it's Rethinking Reality with your name, and we have the RethinkingRealityNetwork.net, and this is the group of people that basically is like a community of people rethinking reality. That's it. Nothing wrong with that. Remember, the last 2,000 years, if you haven't done your work, okay, you haven't done your studies, you can see it's the... Well, constellation of deceit. Some people call the constellation of duality, but I call it the constellation of deceit. There is some truth there. Lies, secrets, deceptions. Okay? It's all there. Okay? There's also, remember, some really cool things. It's called trickery. <laughs> Let me offer you this, and you take it. Hook, line, and sinker, then you can't figure out how to get out of it. I don't care if it's a death do us part contract. Okay? Mm, or a 30-year house loan, or, well, free anything. Remember, dollar going in, <laughs> and I'm talking tattoos or anything. doesn't matter. Okay, you put a tattoo on for 50 bucks, you want to take it off, it's 5000 Anyways, guys, it's, it's time for us to work together, and that's the power of the group. The group is actually rethinking reality, and other people... If they're happy with their reality, then of course there's nothing for you to say. It's because, remember, the five sense reality only believes what its sensors can pick up. Sensors. Not senses, the sensors. When you put them all together, they become a sense. Now you can start to go ahead and weigh and measure possibly what could be bullshit or, well, indoctrination. It's just got a theme. 
put you off track, but maybe it's education too, discernment. Remember, integrity comes when you share. I'm doing right now, look, I'm sharing with my clothes off right now. Why? Because I just want to talk from my heart. Okay, it takes a lot of courage to go on Facebook Live. Why? Because you can't edit it, can't stop it. It's just what it is. And if you think with your mind, you know what happens? <laughs> it sounds like it. And I may jump around a little bit, but guys, all I'm trying to, to talk to you about is that, uh, remember, to work in a group means that we're very smart. And maybe, maybe, remember, no one knows the truth is because you don't need to. You just need to know sometimes what you've been told is not the truth. And it opens up the door to other things because, remember, this is the age of the revealing. And if that's the case, okay, you're not going to get it to those that actually told you about the stories. So you have to get it from the people. And like I said, you clean the body up, that's what you do. And that'll give you clarity because whatever's living inside you doesn't have food and doesn't poop in you anymore. So you get clarity. Wow. And this is what happens when people come up to the retreats here is because they've done some pre-protocols. Okay, already got off meat, they've already went ahead and thinned their density of all this food all the time. And they come up here to dry out, come up here to go on dry to steam, steam distilled water. We go over the protocols again on Earther Academy. Ask your doctor if you could go ahead and fast. And most likely, if he's a doctor that doesn't know anything and he's overweight and everything else, then remember, I'm <laughs> sure he's going to tell you, ah, oh, distilled water is bad for you. It's dry water. It's going to help decalcify your pineal gland. Maybe decalcify some of your arthritis, kidney stones, gallstones. Remember, look up the information. I didn't say it. Colon hydrotherapy, what's that going to do? Okay, putting a ton of liquids, mineralized liquids in your body that have the source of dissolving, washing, renutrifying. Okay, what are you going to do? You think that's bad? Again, remember, critical thinking. And how do you get critical thinking? Sometimes from others that actually took a chance and pioneered some of this thinking. Because in the beginning, remember, we're all doing what we're doing because we only know what we know. And if there's other things that are maybe better, remember, upgrade, enhance, and optimize, then what do you want to do? Give it a try, but maybe, well, nah, we won't say you're a coward, but maybe you're gutless. You don't want to try things because maybe it's not so cool. Well, remember, learn from others that have already gone through these protocols. And they're looking to go to the next level. And as they share, they grow. Remember, there is a part of us that needs to share. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. Remember, the men, I've been studying this really weird social gender, gender war right now. And you need to see it. I've been studying uh, MGTOW, MGTOW, okay, Sandman, all these different guys. And I'm not here to believe anything. I'm not here to take sides. I'm not here to go ahead and bash anything. I'm just trying to understand the problem. And it's a gender war. They push it on us because, remember, it's very smart. Okay, and it's really good for men and women to see this. You know why, guys? Because quit beating each other up. It's the system that's making you do it. Okay, and watch what others have done with the power that they had in the system. There's no need to go ahead and actually fight like this. It's not right. Okay, and I've been studying this, let me tell you, probably a hundred at least videos, and I've spent probably the last six weeks. And a lot of people go, Aren't you done studying that? No, the dilemma's bigger than I thought it was. It's all over the world, too. You know, MGTOW, there's thousands of people, okay, and the ones I would suggest maybe just to start with is just listen to Sandman. He just does one every day, okay? And it just means men going their own way. Doesn't mean they don't like women, it just means maybe they're sort of tired of the situation, okay? But then again, remember, okay, men are the builders of form. We build houses, roads, cities, okay, that's what we do. It's because we don't mind, okay? Okay, now the builders of procreation, those are women. And they can do other things too, so can men. Okay, but our prime DNA is to be able to go ahead and actually have different genders that make sense instead of each gender now trying to compete with each other, which is really dumb. Really dumb. Remember in the old days, a man could go to work and feel, feel like he's doing something because, you know what, his, his companion wife could take care of the family and maybe make a garden, maybe do homeschooling, maybe do all the things that you could do when I was a child that our mother did for us. And we grew up, of course, not beautiful. I wouldn't change a thing. Mom, love you. <laughs> okay. And it's just what it is. Okay. It's, it's not really 
what we see. Remember, it's not us, it's what we're pushed into. And remember, there are certain endocrine disruptors. That's why you see a lot of men turning into women and a lot of women turning into men. It's called transgenderism. It is real and you can see it pretty easy. <laughs> okay, we go over this in Earther Academy, how to tell if you've been sort of, uh, well, chemically castrated. Okay, remember, it does take effort and will and discipline to be able to live in this world that has so much weirdness. And remember that year 2017 is going to get weirder. I'm not going to even, even say anything here. I, I see lots of videos and I wouldn't even dare about putting them on YouTube or anything. Nah. There's no reason to. Okay, there's no reason. But when they started talking about the children suffering, I cried so much is because there's so many children suffering right now, not even from having good parents, is because the system makes the parents do certain things and live, live under the stress of money. Remember, money controls the emotions. Yes, it does. Religion controls the minds. Choose one, they don't care. Even if you're an atheist, doesn't matter. Put yourself in a box. Even if it's the new cage or new age religion, go in that box. Okay? Emotions are called by mon controlled by money. Religion's controlled by the mind. Okay? Mind controls religion. No, the religion controls the mind. Which, of course, means in Latin, religare, to hold back, bind, tie back. Okay? But what controls action? Hmm. That's a good one to see. That's the government. That's your sort of like your fathers, as you say, that sort of, well, I don't know, we hire them to take care of us, but I'm not sure what kind of a job they're doing because it seems like it don't get any better. Remember, you'll find out there is no money. It's just money that's in numbers. <laughs> Isn't it so? So maybe we should all go ahead and get sent maybe, I don't know, 10 numbers, okay? 10 zeros to add to our $200 we have in the bank and maybe we'll start spending some numbers maybe to to go ahead and propagate commerce because it's just numbers you don't need to go ahead and work five days a week who came up with that stuff critical thinking remember do as you're told go along to get along that's the old world because we're tired of doing that so the only way you can go ahead and actually get out of your insanity remember is to go ahead and really really be disciplined to clean up the body and in time you may want to go ahead and consult a real shaman to help you realign the temples and let go of some weird ethereal demonic spirits which are real remember there's physical demons and they're in your belly okay the beef tapeworm the pork tapeworm the fish tapeworm what do you think they are they suck blood and they can grow a foot a year up to about 50 feet rope parasite remember what do they eat blood suckers hookworms little guys but they colonize you're vegan Hmm, you think that's just going to help? You're vegetarian? Remember, why are you so pasty and skinny and feel so weak? Why are you so yellow? It's because maybe these blood-sucking parasites are still in you, sucking your blood, and they don't care if you stop drinking or eating dead carcass. Remember, this is a layer that you do need a little guidance with. Okay? It took me years to get these creatures out of me, and they don't just come out. I'm just telling you. Okay? It's all an experiment, it's all a work in progress, and as everybody starts to release their simple demons, which don't uh, really suck blood, okay, yeast, mold, fungus, candida, the ones that live in the, the belly, but the ones that actually live in the belly that drink blood are the ones that live in the body that drink blood. Remember, they're like ticks. They're like animals that, that eat blood. And if you drink blood, what do you think happens to you? You just get loaded full of infestual parasites that were in the blood of the flesh that you ate. Okay? Forget about even it being infected and full of garbage. It's just not the right thing to do. Remember, why do you need to kill something to stay alive? And if you do, then test yourself. Okay? Test yourself. Test yourself if you could grow that animal, feed it, take care of it. When it gets sick, spend a little time with it to notice it's got a personality and you'll like it. And then I want you to go ahead and do the dirty deed. See if you can. And if you can, remember, it just means you're disconnected. I'm sorry for you. I used to be the same way. That's not good. There's nothing worse than having these knots inside you to feel that instead of being a sort of like an earth steward which constructs things, expands the kingdom, okay? Uh, being a destructive parasite that just destroys, consumes, and doesn't even see what it does like a virus. Okay, guys. Just wanted to say I love everybody again. There are lots of things to do that we all need to help each other with, and it's not easy. 
Okay, it's not, it's not something that you're just going to do a cleanse. This is a lifestyle. Remember, this is honoring the body, the church, and, and realigning the temples, and, of course, activating both brains. Sounds a little weird, I know. Remember, it is weird. Some people are more advanced here that have connected into different layers, and, and they come back into the other layers. It's because, you know, it's sort of a trap at our layer, too. Because we can't grow unless you grow with us. <laughs> can't keep growing on your own, but you've helped me grow so much, guys, and it's sort of weird. I always tell my, my really close friends here that help us with everything, I said, you know what, I'm growing so much, it's hard for me to be able to just catch up. So that's all you guys watching videos, and even if you just take one little thing and it helps you, and you do it every day, remember, these are spiritual currency. This opens the blinders as you share collectively in a different way than just practicing doing it one-on-one. -on -one. There's nothing wrong doing that, but if you do feel that you have the, I guess, passion to be able to share, then do it on YouTube. And do it with us, with a group. Remember, rethinking reality with your name. And if you don't want to use your name, then use your code name. Instead of Rachel, maybe, maybe use Rachael. Instead of John, maybe use Jose. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Remember, everybody sees everything you're doing anyways. You know, and there is a system here that doesn't want us to advance, and we need to see that. And the only way we'll advance is not to wait for some white knight to come down and save you, is to actually have the people sort of help themselves save themselves. That's all. That's all I can say. Okay, guys. Give you a kiss. <laughs> Let's say goodbye to Hodo. Mr. Hody, charm your wings. Woohoo! There you go. Okay, this is one of the best things too, is to be able to really appreciate life for what it is. Okay? Remember, these are our companions. Yes, they are. Okay? The animals are not for us to abuse, kill, murder, eat, drink their blood, and eat their dead flesh. Remember, that's ghoulish. And you don't become, well, conscious to this until you get, get the demons out of you that want you to do this type of very weird satanic practice. Remember, to, to put a piece of flesh on the grill and use the fire. Okay, sort of pretty deep symbolism there. Okay, do you really need it? Once you remove these different types of parasites that suck your blood, then your body can basically sustain itself really easy. I eat a meal a day. It's all you need. Okay? It's all you need. Once you get the parasites out, okay, remember there's six classes that we've classed so far. And this is a class society hierarchy of parasites. And like I said, two of the layers are demonic. And why? It's because they suck blood. So how do you get rid of them? Well, you let them go. You don't try to fight them, that's for sure. You don't try to kill them. And if you do, well, you better make them really weak before you think you're going to beat up on a demonic bully. Okay, that's why we can't talk about it on YouTube. Remember, beef tapeworm goes in your brain, makes babies. Pork tapeworm goes in, makes babies, and the liver makes babies in the heart. Okay, gonads, remember, comes back around to the intestinal tract. This isn't a parasite. It's not because you're eating too much sugar and you get fat. That's that. That's a live creature. No, or your belly sticks out like you're eight months pregnant and you're a guy that's, well, my age. Okay, those are different because you're feeding them processed foods, cooked foods, a bunch of junk, and they're there to help you go ahead and clean your soil and keep your soil composed, okay, decomposed. Okay, now these are ones that once they get in, hookworms get in through the garden, through the grass. You don't even have to have meat, okay? Once they're in, they ain't leaving. And you have to follow some protocols and just see what happens. Remember, it's all a work in progress. All I can do is help you a little bit on what I've done. And remember, we've got millions of views on YouTube. And we've got a lot of good information, a lot. And if you want to share on Earth or Academy, why don't you become a student, facilitator, teacher? I'm not an authority. I'm just here to help you guys. I'm just a student like you, just in a different grade. And remember, we're all, as a group, learning to become our own doctor. And if you do have sickness, remember, well, don't feel bad because everybody's got the sickness. It just depends on what type you have. Remember, toxicity. <laughs> you could be filled full of plastic could be demineralized, could be dehydrated, could be surrounded in Wi-Fi, okay? Could be just self-imposing your own demise by putting phones up to your head. Well, 
You could be in a relationship that's so stressful that all those other things don't even matter because that kills more than all those other things put together. Anyways, okay guys, again, all I can say is I love you and I really, really am happy to uh, be able to share the next year. Okay, so let's get more involved everybody and share a lot of the videos I have because they don't want me to put them out. They subscribe, unsubscribe people on my YouTube channel. And also, you have to go into my YouTube channel and go ahead and press the bell if you want to go ahead and get uh, um, updates, you know, from anything, notifications. Because if not, they've cut everybody off. And they've cut off tons of people. People have told me they've got unsubscribed. So make sure you're subscribed. Okay. There we go. Aloha. And we'll see you next time. All right.